Hi, and welcome to the Health Begins with Moms show. I am Dorit Pavanov, your host. On this podcast, I will share insights and interviews on health, parenting, and explore the question of what does it take to thrive as women, wives, and mothers. Now, let's get going with today's episode. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Health Begins With Mom podcast. This is Dorit Palvinov, your host. So this is probably going to be our last episode for 2017. I will see you back in 2018, maybe not, not next week, but the week after. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's been a definitely an amazing year. Um I'm finally having, I, I finally found some time to record this episode. My kids are off school for two weeks and it's, you know, I've tried so many times to record it. It's just impossible when they're around. Um, you know, somebody always wants something. Somebody always needs something. Um, and uh, thank goodness my brother-in-law took the kids out for a movie. So I jumped right into uh, my computer uh, with my mic and finally um, recording this for you. So I just wanted to say that this has been an amazing, amazing year in the Health Begins world, with Mom world. Um, I've connected with so many of you through this podcast, on social media, through my email newsletter, and, and also word of mouth in my local community. It has been really a pleasure um, to serve you, to um, pass on the knowledge that I have, um, to being able to touch your lives in and at least you know either through the podcast if you're listen if you're a listener or if you've actually had the opportunity um, to to work with me um, it's it's been it, it is a really really pleasure I'm really honor uh, honored to serve you um, whether it is whether I've worked with you personally or I've helped you with your child or your children I just wanted to say thank you so much thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for choosing me for trusting me for you know what not even me thank you for trusting yourself thank you for listening to this inner voice inside of you who is whispering or who was whispering that you need help or that you need to reach out to someone to to help yourself so that you feel that you uh that you are living in alignment with your life's purpose right um, if you are not yet a client, you know, if you're somebody who are new to me, new to my world, new to the, to the podcast, new to my website, new to my work, uh, I'm also very honored that you um, are listening to the show, that you're gaining value. Um, thank you so much for your questions, for your emails. Um, I really, really appreciate everything that... Um, that you are uh, giving to me, to my family. This is really a pleasure. Um, If you are on a verge in terms of, you know, whether you should work with me or even if if it is uh, working with some some other health coach or um, someone who, you know, can help you to take your health to the next level, I just want you to know that... um, I understand how hard it is. It's hard to trust yourself. It's hard to take the leap. It's not easy. But, you know, I wanted to remind you, you probably already have heard this a million times. The the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again and then expecting the same results. And that's not me, (laughs) obviously. This quote is by Albert Einstein, who is much, much smarter than me. Um, And I just want you to understand that if we are trying to solve our problems with the same mind that has created them, um, it's just not going to work. And you will find yourself in, you know, sort of like, uh, twirl, twirling in this self sabotage loop, which is all, all, all that there that it is doing is trying to. It's basically your brain's way of keeping you safe, and that's all that your body wants, right? It's to keep you safe. Whenever there is something new that you're trying to embark on, um, your body will resist it. Your brain will come up with 
um, various ideas or various thoughts to deviate you from that um, action or activity because it wants to keep you safe, right? So even if you are sick, Ill, Ill or you know overweight, have a disease or whatever health challenge that you or your child are facing, I want you to know that you are not broken. Okay, I know that in the health field, we keep hearing, you know, you need to get healthy, you need, yes, it's true, it's true, because if you're not healthy, you, you know, it sucks, you know, you can't really show up to your life, you can't live up to your tourist potential, um, it's really hard to do the work that you were destined to do in the world without, um, without your health, right, so health is not the goal, health is just having you know, feeling good in your body so that you are able to do other things that you want to do with your life, right? So it's really important for me to um, just emphasize that, that you are not broken and you are not less than quote-unquote healthier people, right? I want you to remember that you are a child of God. You know, if you don't believe in God, then, you know, universe or highest power, you know, source, whatever it is, you are um, the, you are part of creation, right? And you are amazing. You are wonderful and you deserve to be here. You deserve to be here. You are wor worthy and I believe in you. And so I want you to always remember that. Always um, to choose to take really, really good care of yourself, whether you are um, a woman or a teenage girl um, or even a mother who is raising children I want you to remember to always take care of yourself so that you are able to um, give to other people right that are close to you so um, this year uh, has been really amazing for me um, like I said in the health begins with mom um, you know, world. <laughs> my uh, baby, as you know, I have three girls. Um, my oldest is eight, my middle one is six, and my baby um, turned one in June of 2017. And um, she started daycare this year, so it, obviously it freed, freed up a lot of my time. Uh, and this is the time that I have to serve you and connect with you more. So it's been really amazing to be able to do that. Um, I also started this podcast in uh, June of the 2016. Um, I connected with amazing people and leading experts and coaches and teachers in the health industry who are all committed to helping people feel their very best so that we can all live an amazing life. That, that has been an amazing thing because one of my core desired feelings is, is, is um, feeling connected and definitely has been an amazing thing for me. Um, this, is, this year has been also... Um, the year that I've invested hugely in, in my personal and business growth. Um, I've hired a coach who is constantly pushing me to serve you better, understand you better, provide you with more resources and help you solve your health problems. And the reason I've hired a coach is because as a coach myself, um, I truly believe that we all need this kind of support, right? So I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm encouraging you to do something that I myself don't do. This is absolutely not true. I truly believe that we all need guidance, support, uh, someone to, you know, hold our hand, someone to push us, someone to encourage us, to encourage us right? Um, because this is just the way, I believe that this is the way the world is built. Um, we just can't do it ourselves, right? We are social creatures. We need each other. And sometimes... When, especially when you are um, about to take on something really big, scary, something that you you know you don't really know what's gonna come out of it. Um, you're getting into the the realm of the unknown. You don't know how you're gonna do. You you know. So if you, if it is um, hiring a health coach, you know you, it's scary because you have to commit. It's uh, many times it's a financial commitment, but also time commitment because you know you will have to to do the work that. Um, is needed is that is required um and and it's scary right is it gonna work is it not gonna work and this you know and i think all of us especially as women 
uh, we have that script in our head going like, but what if? What if it's gonna fail? What if? It's just it's so funny that we we see. It's not really. It's that that's not the right word. It's not funny. It's it's strange that we choose to see the um, the negative, right? Because in any situation, there is always a choice. There is always, you know. Yes, of course, there might be you know, um, negative outcomes, but there might, might also be, and actually it's more likely that a positive outcome will be. It's so, it's so funny the, the other day I was playing, um, the game of life with my girls and towards the end of the path of the game, there is this, uh, sort of like, um, a little deviation into, uh, uh, you know the the riskier sort of path path of life and my girls are like no mommy why are you going into the, the risky life you can lose all of your money and I'm like yeah so because there are like you know green boxes and then there are red boxes I'm like girls but why do why do you see only the green the red boxes there are also green boxes and if I land on them I'm actually gonna make more money <laughs> And so it's funny how um, we we see, uh, or maybe we choose to see the you know the the, the negative, the scary, uh, the not so successful path, the failures. When in reality, um, there is always a way of you know um, the green right, the green um, boxes right. So. I believe that, you know, if, if there is something that is nagging inside of you that is calling you to take better care of yourself or reach out for help or, you know, hire that coach or, uh, you know, buy that book, uh, educate yourself, get that course, whatever it is, um, I think there is this voice inside of us and I call this our inner wise mother who is whispering in our ear and she's saying, you know, this will help, try it, you know, give it a try. Um, and I think, and I think in most cases, when we listen, we do feel successful. So this is my encouragement for you. Um, uh, so yeah, so 2018, I have lots of goals for this year. Um, number one, I want this to be the year that I serve you um, even more, whether it is you uh, or your children, um, you know, whether it is through one-on-one -on -one private coaching or even through my group coaching program that I will launch more uh, throughout the year. Bottom line, I want to help you more. Um, 2017 has also been the year I've um, really di dialed in uh, into my genius, obviously, with the help of my coach. And this is seeing the true pot potential in women, right? I don't know. There is something in me when I see and then when I hear women, I just get filled up with this light, um, with this bright light. I just am able to see what they don't see. Um, and so through coaching, I... It's, it's been really magical to see how they're getting the strength and the guidance um, and the, um, the belief in themselves that they really, really need. So I truly believe that disease, uh, sicknesses, or even weight gain, they're reflections of our misaligned inner world. Um, it is the reflection of our inability to manage our own big and scary emotions and feeling in, in you know, feeling like you, you don't have control over your own life. So, you know, many of us are suffering and are struggling and seeking help or hope. And I remember someone said, once said, um, people who are in the health industry, we are in the business of hope, right? We are, we are in the business of giving hope to people. So I want you to know that there is hope, right? You are not broken. Like I mentioned in the beginning, you are not broken. You are whole, you are complete and resourceful. And I know that you can do this. I know you can. I've seen this happen again and again over and over with my clients and with their kids. Once you just learn a few simple maybe techniques or um, some strategies to how to manage um, your anxiety better, um, your emotional state, um, then you know people are starting to see how how you know how much ha more happy they feel, how much fuller they. they feel they're feeling like their lives are being um, more fun, right? More joyful. 
and I think as moms, we all understand what what once we become mothers, um, and you know, we get these little people that are dependent on us twenty four seven. It's really difficult to feel really joyful in our life. Um, a lot of us are getting into this identity crisis. Like I remember myself, I definitely was there. Um, sort of like you look in the mirror and you're like, who are you? Like I don't remember you anymore. Um, and then there, you know, it, it's basically a downward spiral, spiral from there, right? I remember myself, I've had thyroid issues, adrenal fatigue, um, low energy, my hair was falling out, uh, my skin was super dry, my ache, acne uh, was back. And only when I've decided to take really good care of myself, put myself at the top of my, <laughs> of, of my to-do list, only then things started to change. So... Um, you know, I want you to know that it, change is definitely possible. Um, so if you're confused or feeling lonely with your pain, I want you to stop right now and I want you to send me an email. So you can reach me at Dorit at healthbeginswithmom.com. You can also find me on Facebook. I go under Dorit Palmanov and we'll get on the phone. We'll see if we are a good fit uh, and if I'm qualified to help you. But if I'm not, if I'm not qualified, I might be able to direct you in the right direction because, you know, I've, I've connected, uh, I am connected uh, to um, different coaches, different teachers, different um, um, therapy, therapists uh, who can help. So please, please, please don't put your health on hold and don't pro uh, pro pro procrastinate. That's the right word, right? Um, and uh, because you matter, you matter, you're worthy, and uh, I want you to succeed. So again, as a coach, I can help to guide you, I can direct you, I can tell you where to go, but I can't do the work for you, right? I cannot heal your body for you because it's your body and it's your responsibility. So I need you to show up for yourself because you deserve it and you are worthy. And I, I, I said that like a million times today because I believe in you, right? So imagine yourself standing on this high cliff and in order to heal and feel better, you need to jump. You've got to take the leap. Um, I'm right there at the bottom waiting for you to take off your parachute and land safely but I cannot jump for you. I can't do the work for you. You have to show up for yourself. So, so again, I believe in you. I know you can do this. And um, please, 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 I want you to believe in yourself. Believe that, you know, even though you might be having a health challenge right now, this is, um, this is not like, you know, um, end of life decree you can change that but in order to change that um you have to do something different all right that, that, that has been my love note to you and before i fit before i sign off i found this beautiful uh poem online it's written by elizabeth gilbert gilbert and um it's called not this and i really connected really related to this because I think for us who um, are working, whether it is at our own health, you know, we want to feel better with ourselves, we want to lose weight, we want to look our best, we want to feel our best, we want our children to have a better relationship with food. Um, we know that whatever our current situation, this is not what I want. This is not what we want or how we want to, you know, our situation to be. Um, so this is how it goes. Dear ones, most of us at some point in our lives, unless we have done everything perfectly, which is nobody, will have to face a terrible moment in which we realize that we have somehow ended up in the wrong place, or at least in a very bad place. Maybe we will have to admit that we are in the, in the wrong job or the wrong relationship with the wrong people around us, living in the wrong neighborhood, acting out on the wrong behaviors, using the wrong substances, pretending to believe things that, we're no long, that we no longer believe, pretending to be something we were never meant to be. This moment of realization is seldom fun. In fact, it's usually terrifying. I call this moment of realization not this, because sometimes that's all you know at such a moment. All you know is not this. Sometimes that's all you can know. 
All you know is that some deep life force within you is saying, not this, and it won't be silenced. Your body is saying, not this. Your heart is saying, not this. Your soul is saying, not this. But your brain can't bring itself to say, not this, because that would cause a serious problem. The problem is you don't have a plan B in place. This is the only life you have. This is the only job you have. This is the only spouse you have. This is the only house you have. Your brain says it may not be great, but we have to put up with it because there are no other options. You're not sure how you got here to this place of this, but you sure as hell don't know how to get out. So your brain says, we need to keep putting up with this because this is all we have. But still, beating like a quiet drum, your body and your heart and your soul keep saying, not this, not this, not this. I think some of the bravest people I've ever met were people who had the courage to say the words, not this, out loud, even before they had an alternative plan. People who walked out of bad situations without knowing if there was a better situation on the horizon. People who looked at the life they were in and they said, I don't know what my life is supposed to be, but it's not this. And then they just left. I think my friend who walked out of a marriage after less than a year and had to move in had to move back in with her mother back into her childhood bedroom and faced the condemnation condemnation of the entire community while she slowly created a new life for herself. Everyone said, if he's not good enough for you, who will be? She didn't know. She didn't know anything about what her life would look like now, but it started with her saying, not this. I think of my friend who took her three young children away from a toxic marriage, despite the fact that her husband supported her and the kids financially, and the four of them, this woman and her three children, all slept in one bed together in a tiny studio apartment for a few years while she struggled to build a new life. She was poor, she was scared, she was alone, but she had to listen to the voices within her head that said, not this. I think of friends who walked out of jobs with no job waiting for them because they said, not this. I think of friends who quit school rather than keep pretending that they cared about this field of study anymore. And yes, they lost a scholarship. And yes, they ended up working at a fast food restaurant while everyone else was getting degrees. And yes, it took them a while to figure out where to go next. But there was a relief at last in just surrendering to the holy, non-negotiable truth of none, not this. I think of friends who bravely walked into AA meetings and just fell apart in front of a room full of total strangers and said, not this. I think of a friend who pulled her children out of Sunday school in the middle of church one Sunday because she has had it with the judgment and self-righteousness of this particular church. Yes, it was her community. Yes, it was her tribe. But she physically couldn't be in that building anymore without feeling that she would explode. She didn't know where she was going, spiritually or within her community. But she said, not this, and walked out. Rationally, it's crazy to abandon, abandon a perfectly good life, or at least a familiar life, in order to jump into a mystery. No sane person would advise you to make such a leap with no plan B in place. We are supposed to be careful, we are supposed to be prudent, and yet, and yet, if you keep ignoring the voices within you that say, not this, just because you don't know what to do, instead, you may end up stuck in not this forever. You don't need to know where you are going to admit that where you are standing right now is wrong. The bravest thing to say can be these two words. What comes next? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. It might be worse. It might, it might be better. But whatever it is, it's not this. Isn't that beautiful?
So Elizabeth, Elizabeth Gilbert, if you don't know her, she is the author of Eat, Pray, Love and also Big Magic and many, many other books. She's a great writer. I love reading her stuff. She's always, she always um, moves Oh, these parts within me that's, you know, you always know that they're true, but you don't really know how to express them. So um, love her, uh, her stuff, love reading her um, books and her uh, poems uh, and her novels. So, so yeah, guys, not this. Let t- t- 2018 be the year of not this, the year that we open the door to new possibility. We open the door to doing things differently, right? Whatever it is, we put our our how can I hat on and try to figure out how to be resourceful, to allow, to reach for reach out for help um, and figure things out. All right. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast and I'll catch you next year in 2018. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening to the Health Begins With Mom show. I love hearing from you, so please post your comments and questions over at healthbeginswithmom.com forward slash podcast. If you love the show, please share it on social media and in your real life with other moms who might enjoy this content. And if you have a burning question or topic you'd like me to hit on the show, just drop me a line at dorit at healthbeginswithmom.com. And if you love the show and really want to support it, please go to iTunes, write a review, and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll catch you next time. Much love and many blessings.